Alright, another stream reveal along with Link Joker VR and more Link Joker. So first off, let's start off with the order card. Clear Frame Curse Cleaning Whirlpool. It's a rare normal order, grade 3, and its skill is Choose one of your circles, unlock the lock card, and stand the rear guard on that circle. And if you unlock or stand, draw a card. So basically this just gives access to unlock to every single clan now. Although I don't see it being relevant in standard, but I do see this relevant in premium. And on to premium collection, we got Atachi Kaze, Destruction Tyrant, Ganter Raptor. Generic stride stats and stride costs, and its skill is Auto Vanguard once per turn. When your rear guard is placed from hand, you may put 3 cards from your drop zone face down as equip gauges for that unit. Okay, that itself is already good. Using your drop zone as equip gauges so then you don't deck out. Perfect. Second skill. Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks, cost counter blast 1, turn a face down card from your G-Zone face up, stand all your rear guards with 3 or more equip gauges, and choose the same number of rear guards your opponent controls, and retire them. So basically like Anger Blader, but with an additional skill that will guarantee its main skill. Next we got a weird Cray Elemental. Heat Elemental Huang. Grade 1, 7k power, and its skill is... All vanguards must attack each other, as much as possible. Sounds too much like Yu-Gi-Oh where they say all monsters must attack if they able. Well at least they can't damage to Nayu anymore. Next we got a Shadow Paladin, Dark Dragon, Chain Ranger Dragon. Genex Stride Stats and Stride Costs, and its skill is Same as Crystal Luster Dragon, of copying your, the skill of your heart card, and also has a GB3 skill that does the same thing, except that it has to be grade 1s or less. Such lazy design, Bushy. Yes, I understand. Opposite of light. And then we got a Gold Paladin, Golden Dragon, Flame Bent Dragon. Generic Stride Stats and Generic Stride Costs, and its skill is... When this card attacks, costs, put two of your rear guards back to the bottom of your deck, turn a face down card from your G-Zone face up, Draw 2, Superior Call 2, and if you call 2, plus 1 crit. So similar to the Nubatama one, by bouncing your rear guards, except this one goes back to the deck, and you call 2 and then give you 2 more attacks, and if you call this amount, plus 1 crit. But I do see a lot better options than this, but it's not too bad. And now for cards for Silver Petal Dragonflame. Double Rare, Screening Deleter Egoga. Grade 3, 13k power. Force, and its skill is Auto Vanguard when placed, cost Counter Blast 1, discard a card from your hand, and delete your opponent's Vanguard. Second skill, Auto Rear Guard when placed, cost Soul Blast 1, and your opponent cannot undelete their Vanguard in their next end phase. So basically, it's a cheaper first ride target than Greyon, although it has to be on place, which can be relevant in Premium. And also has an Omega Delete effect, although it's not that relevant unless if your opponent plays low amount of grade 3s because they could just ride or stride over it. But I do see this card replacing Greyon. Next, a Dimensional Police Rare, Dimensional Robo Die Jacker. Grade 1, AK Power, and its skill is Auto Rearguard at the end of the battle that this card attack or boosted. Cost Retire this unit, and one of your Vanguard gets plus 1 crit until the end of the turn. I see this card as a potential 2 of. Sure, you do have DP that could gain crits, like Great Dayusha that doesn't have crits. So this card can actually be very helpful. And now another Link Joker, Triple Rare, Genesis Machine Deity, Vocal Gode. Grade 4, no force, 30k power, and its skill is count, you cannot ride this unit. Makes sense? And its main skills are Auto Rear Guard. When place, retire this unit. Sounds bad so far until you realize what this card actually is supposed to be played with. So to the main skill, auto rear guard. At the end of the battle that this card attacks, a vanguard costs, lock this unit, and choose one of your units and it gets plus 10k power at the end of the turn. The idea is to lock call this unit and then unlock it after. And the self locking is also very helpful because it's going to extend your combos. And to the big boss itself, Alter Eagle Messiah. Grade 3, Force, 13k power, and its skill is Act Vanguard. Once per turn, cost Soul Blast 1. Put two cards with different names from your drop zone as lock. 
Second skill. Auto Vanguard. When this guard attacks, choose any number of rear guards and unlock them. And those unit gets plus 10k. Yes, a first ride messiah that could unlock. This is what the deck needed. My only issue is the first skill needing to lock cards from the drop zone because that's quite early game and this is a first ride. So you're probably not going to guard that much. But it is doable. And pretty much its main unlock skill is free. Although I was expecting this to get some extra bonus for unlocking a certain number of cards. But I will take what I can get. And now to the stream reveals. First off a premium collection card from Pale Moon. Madeer Megatrick Yivit. Generic stride sets and stride costs. And its skill is Magia Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks, costs. Put a card from your hand into your soul. Turn a face down card from your G-Zone face up. Get one Excel marker and call a card from your soul into that additional rear guard. And that unit gets plus 50k. And at the end of the turn, put that unit back into the soul. So basically, imaginary gift acceleration. And one additional attack. Okay card. And now to OTT for Silver Petal Dragon Flame. Goddess of the Sun, Amaterasu. It's a triple rare. Grade 3. Protect. 12k power, and its skill is Auto Deck. When revealed by a card effect, find the top card of your deck, and your Vanguard gets plus 10k and 1 crit until the end of turn. Well, with OTT constantly checking their top cards of the deck, this could actually pull off, and it's basically like a critical trigger. Second effect, Auto Vanguard Rearguard. When this card attacks, cost discard a card from your hand, look at the top 3 cards of your deck, add 1 normal unit, and put the rest on the top or bottom of your deck. So recycles the cards from your hand and lets you top your deck. Alright, not too bad, but I mainly use it for the revealed by card effect skill for the 10k power and 1 crit. And now to the big VR itself. Supreme Heavenly Battle DD Cizano. Grade 3, protect, 12k power, and its skill is Auto Vanguard, 1 place, look at the top 2 cards of your deck, reveal 1 and put that card to the top of the deck and put the rest at the bottom. Second skill. Act Vanguard once per turn, cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, reveal the top two cards of your deck, put them into your hand, and activate all trigger effects of the reveal card. And if your soul has a grade 3, reveal 3 instead. So basically, it's like you're doing drive checks on your main face. And you know what? I like it. So that's it for the reveals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So tell me what you guys think about Messiah and Susano. And the set so far. To me, this is actually one of the best sets that I've seen. Hopefully the cross is going to be something good.